Hello! I hope you enjoy seeing my laundry in the background. Anyway, today I wanted to just get on here and play a whole bunch of extended techniques for you. We'll see how they go considering I just ate dinner and um, yeah, I don't know. But there's a lot of cool ones out there and I just wanted to show them to you in case you don't know. So the first one I'm going to start with is a full letter tonguing. So that is basically sounds like this. So that is flutter tonguing. Um, I'm just going to go through a million and you know, you pick your favorite. All right. Next one I'm going to show you is pitch bending. So pitch bending basically does what it sounds like. So stuff like that. Um, okay, now this one is a little weird. This is a tongue ramps type of articulation. <sighs> Anyway, alrighty. Next one I'm going to show you is a jet whistle. This is one of my favorites. And I've had to do it in band before. So jet whistles like this. <coughs> kind of sounds like a jet taking off. <laughs> um, okay, next one is singing and playing. So that is when you sing and play at the same time. So it sounds like something like this. You can sing the same note or a different note. So, could you hear me singing a different note that time? I don't know. All right. So, next one I'm going to try might not translate across the internet because it's pretty quiet, but it's called a whistle tone. So, sounds like this. You getting any sort of high pitches in there that are really quiet? Um, so those are whistle tones. Um, next one is multiphonics. So I'll show you just one of these fingerings. Um, there's a whole million. <laughs> and they're basically like fingerings that people invented um, that work. So multiphonics is when you can get technically two pitches out at once. So the one, this one I'm going to play <coughs> plays those two notes, A and E. So <coughs> listen for those. Never mind. C sharp and E. I got that wrong. Those two. Yeah, okay. So I need to practice those. You know, they're not <laughs> multiphonics are kind of something I say for um, when I have to learn a piece. Like, um, right now I'm working on the Ian Clark's Great Train Race. So there's a little section where it goes to kind of sound like a train um okay so the last one oh god i wrote a little list of like things i want to show you in the last, the last one circular breathing okay so circular breathing is when you play a note forever. You never breathe because technically you breathe while you play. So the way you do that is you sniff and blow out at the same time. So oh, I haven't done this for too many people before, which is a sign I should do it more. But let's see what happens. So okay, main thing is to stay relaxed. Here we go. Give this a try.
kind of just keep going forever. Um, anyway, those are some extended techniques for you. Um, oh, I wanted to show you one more. Harmonics. Those aren't so much uh, an extended technique, but those are basically like you can um, play harmonics on if you finger a note and then overblow it. Um, like, for example, like, I'll do C. And here we go. Here's the B flat. Okay. Those are the, you could technically hit the C, but I don't feel like, you know, killing you in this moment. Um, okay. So those are some extended techniques in case you didn't know about them. Um, there are probably more that I'm forgetting. Um, oh yeah, there's like different tonguing. There's like beatboxing and there's like pizzicato tonguing, um, which is similar to tongue rams a little bit. Um, beatboxing is like you just go, say, like into the flute. So it's, that's more similar to um, singing and playing. So can you guys let me know, did you have a favorite? Is there one that you didn't know about? And is there one you want to learn? So repeat those. So A, did you have a favorite? B, did you have one that you want to learn now? And C, actually I forgot what I said. I don't know. Just let me know. Is there one that you liked? Is there one you want to learn? Um, do you have any questions about how to use them? Um, as far as like when you need to use these, if you play any new music that has these in it, like um, composers over the last hundred years or so, like, have been experimenting with different flute sounds. And sometimes I've even, <laughs> I've even played, like, new commissions where, like, the composer asks me to do something and I'm like, I don't think, like, I think there was one time I had to play a high E whistle tone, like, with an E flat clarinet just playing a regular old high note. And then the clarinet, you know, played as loud as a E flat clarinet plays in the high register, even if they're you're trying to play quiet. And then my whistle tone was like practically invisible. I was like, you're not gonna, you can't hear me. He's like, play louder. I'm like, well, I can't. Um, let me just play a harmonic E instead. So anyway, there are a lot of fun sounds on the flute. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You should definitely go ahead and learn extended techniques if you haven't already. Um, side note, they really, really, really improve your tone. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, so that's all for today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!